Catherine? Thanks, Martha. These court records and transcripts reviewed by Fox News show the Russian lawyer at the center of the Donald Trump Jr. emails was granted a special immigration status by the Obama administration Justice Department as first reported by the Hill newspaper. Natalia Veselnitskaya was the lawyer for a Russian businessman accused by federal prosecutors of laundering hundreds of millions of dollars in real estate transactions. The government bypassed the normal visa process and gave a type of extraordinary permission to enter the country called immigration parole, the documents state. That's a discretionary act that the statute allows the attorney general to do in extraordinary circumstances. The attorney general at the time of the court filings, 2015 and 2016, was Loretta Lynch. Democrats said tonight Republicans may be overplaying the connection. Clearly, the, someone in the United States government had to make an exception. And what we've learned, or what has been reported, is that the, that was granted in order to allow her to come to the United States, defend her client in a major international trial uh, in, in New York. That seems like a reasonable use of the parole option. After the June 2016 Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and then campaign chairman Paul Manafort, Veselnitskaya heads to Capitol Hill where she can be seen in the background of this video at House Foreign Affairs Committee. It's not clear from our reporting tonight what her immigration or parole status was at that time, Martha. Catherine, thank you very much. Catherine Herridge welcome. in Washington. So here with more, Mark Thiessen, former chief speechwriter for President George W. Bush, and Juan Williams, co-host of The Five. Both, of course, are Fox News contributors. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, good, good to, to have either, both of you with us tonight. Um, Mark, let me start with you in D.C. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's now all of this speculation about this woman and what her connection is. She apparently worked with Fusion GPS on...